Small states, we support the New Jersey plan. All states should have the same number of representatives in Congress. The actual compromise was they were combining two plans to their two chambers in Congress. When a census account of the people is taken to determine how many representatives each state gets in Congress, slaves should be included in this total. Their compromise was they decided to give slaves a little bit of representation in the government. Their compromise was they decided to give slaves a little bit of representation in the government. Slave states, Congress should not be able to stop us from importing slaves to work on our plantations. Free states, limits should be placed in the number of slaves being brought to the United States. Northern states agree to wait until 1808 to set slaves free. Congress should not be able to tax imports and exports. If imports are taxed, we will have to pay higher prices for for the food. If exports tax are taxed, we will be, we will be harder for us to sell our products for foreign countries. Congress should keep tax imports so that foreign goods won't be cheaper than American-made factured products. The U.S. decided only to get exports from other countries, not states, or else every state would be like, to a, con like a country. The less informed common man cannot be trusted to choose a capable, capable leader. Voters should elect a small a small number of well-educated leading citizens to be electors, who will then choose the president and members of Congress. <laughs> we oppose a rich man's government that president and member of Congress should all be directly elected by the voters. Democrats. The actual act was three compromise made a elector college for voting to be fair. Large states, we favor the Virginia plan, which representation is Congress is based on population. States with more people should have more represent representatives in Congress. These are all the compromises and what happened then.